Miyamoto Usagi was a samurai ronin that lived in an alternate feudal Japan. On the other hand, the teenage mutant ninja turtles lived in modern day Manhattan. So, how was it possible for these two properties to team up? My name is Sora, and today, I will explore the many comic book adventures between the Ninja Turtles and Usagi Yojimbo. Stan Sakai, the creator of Usagi Yojimbo, and Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, the creators of the Turtles, became friends in the mid 80s after their success in underground comics. The two properties were black and white comic books that were created in 1984, so they had a lot of things in common and they had plenty of respect for each other. One day, Stan sent a pin-up to them that got published in the Donatello Micro series. Had Stan known he was going to get published, he would have done something more spectacular. Or at least, that's what he said. This mutual admiration resulted in a small story for Turtle Soup number 1 in 1987 in the story titled Turtle Soup and Rabbit Stew. The story took place after the time-traveling events of TMNT No. 8, and during the time, the turtles were living at April's apartment. In the story, Leonardo got randomly transported to Usagi's world, where, to make things more complicated, he started getting bullied by some ruins. This resulted into a fight that coincided with a nearby battle between Miyamoto and the Neko Ninja. The two heroes were the last ones standing, but not knowing each other, they charged into combat. Leonardo was saved by another random portal to his world, where his brothers wouldn't believe his story about a samurai rabbit. The next collaboration would take place in Usagi Yojimbo, number 10 from 1988, in a story titled The Crossing, which was based on a story where Robin Hood met Friar Tuck. It was written and illustrated by Peter Laird and lettered by Steve Levine. In this story, Miyamoto teaches two kids a lesson about humbleness by telling them the story of his second encounter with Leonardo. In the tale, Miyamoto was being too arrogant and ordered a priest at the bank of the river to help him cross to the other side. The priest accepted, but disappeared in the middle of the journey. That was when Leonardo revealed he was the priest and the two engaged in battle. Because of the slippery conditions of the battleground, Miyamoto lost his balance and was at the mercy of Leonardo, who let him live. Had it been for the turtle's honor, Usagi would be dead. Leonardo ended up returning to his world in the same way as he did in the first story. Usagi ended the story by telling the kids that he and Leonardo had many adventures since then, implying that there were going to be more stories like this one. The third encounter took place in the 1989 special, Shell Shock, in the story titled The Treaty. As usual, Leonardo was transported into Usagi's world while he was bringing some pizza home. After landing, he interrupted a fight between Miyamoto and the Neko Ninja. Apparently, Miyamoto was a secret courier for Lord Noriyuki, delivering the draft of a treaty to Lord Fujitako. The Neko Ninja intercepted him because Lord Hijiki sent them to learn the contents of that treaty. The two were attacked again by the ninja, but this time, they took a woman hostage and threatened to kill her. Miyamoto had no option but to give them the draft. After the ninja vanished, the lady revealed she was Tomoe, the chief retainer to Lord Noriyuki, and she was actually carrying the real draft. Miyamoto was just a decoy. Leonardo disappeared again and reappeared in April's apartment after breaking the window, which got him in trouble with her. By 1992, Stan Sakai moved his book to Mirage Studios, therefore, a team up with the Turtles was a given. 
It was during this time that Stan tries to make Space Usagi work as a comic book and as a TV show. You can learn more about that in this other video. In the new volume of Usagi Yojimbo, Stan opened with a three part story, guest starring the turtles. The story was titled Shades of Green, and it was an homage to Seven Samurai by Akira Kurosawa. This story was also the introduction of a character that briefly appeared before, Chizu, a tuning of the Neko Ninja. Shades of Green started with Miyamoto and Gen being led to Kakeda, a rat-like sensei who had a special rapport with nature. His village was surrounded by Neko Ninja, so he needed samurai to protect him especially because it was a village of farmers, so nobody would have been able to do so. After seeing that he was only going to get two samurai, he ordered someone to bring him turtles from the river, and after a brief spell, he transformed them into the ninja turtles. Because it made sense to use ninja to fight ninja, this ability to invoke warriors from other worlds was probably the reason why the Neko Ninja wanted him. Especially after their forces were almost depleted in a previous conflict. This was the first time the other three Ninja Turtles met Miyamoto Usagi, finally believing Leonardo's stories about a samurai rabbit. Kakera felt that seven samurai weren't enough and ordered four frogs. This may have been a funny reference to the Battle Toes, or the Punk Frogs, but they were out of time because the Neko Ninja were already in the village and took Kakeda with them. Together, they fought the Neko Ninja, and thanks to Chizu, who then became the joining of the clan, were able to rescue Kakeda. Chizu said goodbye to Miyamoto with a kiss. The turtles were then returned to their home, bringing back the innocent turtles in their place. And that would be the last crossover in comic books for a long time, until 2017. Sten Sakai moved his book to IDW Publishing, and agreed on a new crossover with the turtles in the special titled Namazu or The Big Fish Story. In this story, Kakira asked Miyamoto to help him carry a valuable object to Kashima Shrine. As an evil figure who deluded himself into believing he was a servant of the 10,000 gods of the land would try to stop him. That evil figure was Jay. Kakira considered Miyamoto wouldn't be enough, so he ordered him to bring him four turtles. He then proceeded to invoke the ninja turtles, but this time, something was different. These weren't the same turtles they met before. These were the IDW version of them. The turtles thought they were under attack at first, and started fighting with Miyamoto, who was shocked that Leonardo didn't recognize him. After a short explanation, they were on the way to Kashima Shrine. That was when they found out they were carrying a small rock. Kakira told them the story of Namazu, a giant catfish who lived in the bowels of the earth under Japan. And any movements, even the swish of its tail would cause earthquakes. Centuries ago, the great deity, Kashima no Okami, the god of thunder, fought the creature. The land was nearly torn apart, but Kashima subdued Namazu, trapping it under a massive rock called Kanameishi. A part of it was exposed on the grounds of Kashima Jingu. But recently, during a dispute among the gods, Kashima hurls down a bolt that broke off a piece of the sacred rock. This diminished the power of the Kanameishi, which made Namazu recover its strength slowly. They needed to bring back that piece before the complete recovery of Namazu ensured the end of the land. That fragment was passed from hand to hand until it reached Kakira. They found opposition. Jay gathered a band of brigands who were in it only because he promised them some treasures. When they realized these were false promises, Jay killed one of them to make them work for him out of fear. During the final battle, Kakira was able to restore Kanameishi, and Jay 
appear to have died. In the end, Kakira sent the turtles back to their homes. And that was the last comic book adventure between these two properties. As you can see, that friendship between the creators led to many business opportunities and publishing deals. But that wasn't the end of it. Because, as you probably are well aware, there's another side to this story. The many crossovers between Miyamoto Usagi and the Ninja Turtles in TV shows, toy lines, and movies. But that is a topic for a future video. Thanks for watching!